student we are discussing here heat of neutralization here some symbols are there i will tell you first that delta h not standard enthalpy of dissociation is um, this is standard enthalpy of uh, dissociation heat and uh, energy during the time of dissociation and delta h um, uh, heat energy absorbed during uh, for dissociation and delta is not neutralization heat energy is released so it will be always negative value delta is neutralization it is written in short and uh, actually it is delta is not uh, here delta is new delta is new two times i have written one is actual one is observed so in case of actual there will be uh, for a strong acid and a strong base it is fixed value that is minus 13.7 kilocalorie per equivalent for a strong acid and a strong base heat change um, uh, heat releases 13.7 now uh, is what does it mean means uh, actual and observed values are different so that is delta h observed should be equal to delta h not actual plus delta h dissociation it means this is exothermic and this is endothermic so delta h not uh, observed that is um, uh, heat enthalpy change of neutralization observed value will be lower than the actual value okay actual value i told you for a strong acid and a strong base here 13.7 multiply by 2 so it should be 27.4 but it is given 25.4 little amount of energy is used to dissociate this um, oxalic acid to h positive twice of h positive plus c2o4 to negative okay so since it is a weak acid so weak acid requires some energy to be dissociated now we'll go then uh, reaction the enthalpy of neutralization of oxalic acid is of a strong with a strong base is minus 25.4 enthalpy of neutralization of the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base is minus 13.7 kilocalorie per equivalent find the enthalpy of dissociation so delta h not observed is equal to delta h neutralization actual plus delta h dissociation so since that the acid is diprotic so we will multiply this actual value by 2 so it is minus 13.7 multiply by 2 plus delta h dissociation now we have to calculate delta h dissociation so delta h dissociation will be difference between delta h new observed minus delta h neutralization both of them are having negative value okay so negative this uh minus negative this so minus minus it is it will become plus so it will be 2 kilo calorie per mole okay so minus this come will become positive so this much energy is required to dissociate h2 c2 4 to twice of h positive and c2 4 to negative clear to you this is endothermic so plus sign will be here okay this is plus sign means energy